Hello, I'm going to show you how to add to the CS2 server this kind of commands. Uh, Prag.com released this uh, server hosting where they have this plugin loaded, but they didn't make that public. So I made my own version of it, which is uh, pretty simple. It has like this uh, configuration uh, launchers. Uh, the pause, on pause, record demo, stop record, the restore round. Uh, yeah, it's very basic. So I'm gonna show you how to load it on your server, which is pretty easy. Um, <clears throat> you will need to download the meta mod. Right now I have this version. I'm not sure if uh, the ones that I are like more new. If they work, I need to test that uh, now. I will do it and I will basically uh, update this if I see something weird. But for now, I'm going to show you that. So I download the Linux version of Metamod because my server, my dedicated server, is um, on Linux. So basically, you click on it and you will get the um, this. Uh, zip file to extract it uh, click inside and you will see this folder which contain contains the metamod uh, so i copy that i copy the add-ons folder i i open my ftp of the ch2 server so this is the entry directory i load the folder i go to game csgo and here as you can see, it's like a normal server. I have these from a previous thing that I did, but we will not have it. So I'm going to delete that just in case. And yeah, I'm going to paste that now, the meta mod source that I just uh, copied before from this. And on the meantime, I'm going to show you on the console, like uh, this is my live console of the server. Uh, which is uh, working and uh, like a, a way to know that the meta mode is loaded is basically uh, using the command meta from meta mode. So now it doesn't recognize the command because it doesn't uh, it didn't load the meta mode correctly. So to load it, um, wait, you will need to configure this. But on my on the package from the, from the plugin that you get from releases um, assets and you download the in this case the Linux zip file, you will have these folders um, and this game info GI, which it basically makes the meta mode to load. Uh, I'm lost. Yeah, this one. So it basically adds this uh, entry, which is uh, pointing towards the folder where Metamod is located. And yeah, it, it gets loaded. So pretty easy. Uh, you go inside the, the download to copy all of this. Copy. Navigate towards the FTP and go into add ons. No, sorry, sorry, no. On the on the top um, on the top folder on the root, let's say, and you paste that, and it will copy all of that. Mm, yep, I'm replacing this game for GI, so it's safe. Then the code TV. I, I mean, I have it at uh, the config files. I have them already. So yeah, I'm gonna say yes to all because it's safe. Um, so the explanation of the of the file that contains like the different files that contain it contains is that the on add-ons it contains the plugin the CS2 screen uh, the binary file uh, then this configs uh, folder where you have the admins configuration where you can add uh, yourself and so on to have more privileges. Then the meta mode configuration file for that plugin specific. Then the inside the CFG 
folder you have the different configurations uh, like pretty default pretty standard nothing fancy in there uh, basically these two are mandatory these three sorry and i i, I added this one uh, because on your like to be able to use the record command you will need to enable the code tv on your server so basically on your server configuration you can just uh, trigger this configuration and it will enable that with a standard um, configuration like uh, yeah like nothing fancy so uh, and then the unempty code tv folder because uh, the plugin if the code tv is enabled what it's gonna do is save all of the recordings inside the uh, tv folder so in case you don't have that folder in your app in your server it's not gonna save it so it's kind of mandatory to have this folder even if it is empty on this uh, directory um once it's uh, everything loaded like uh, uploaded on the server what we need to do is uh, make a full reboot of the server in very games is, is pressing the button in your if you have a different host uh, it's gonna have probably something similar, but uh, don't use the like the SB cheats cheats one and restart. Like, don't use that because it doesn't fully reboot the the server and it and it doesn't load the meta mode. So if you type SB cheats one and restart and you type uh, meta, it's not gonna show it because it didn't load it up correctly. So if you do a full, full, full reboot, it's gonna reload everything just fine. Uh, so now once it's done, I'm gonna check that the meta mode is being loaded correctly. And then I'm gonna check that the plugin is also loaded. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. So I'm gonna type meta. It loads perfect. Uh, you can check the meta mode version with this in case you have doubts of your if your version is up to date and so on. So you have the, you have the version here, but you, so you can like check later if uh, updating it or not. Um, now, if you type meta list, it's gonna um, print all of the add-ons, the meta mode add-ons that you have loaded on your server. Uh, I have. The, this one which is like the one that i mentioned before so now if i join to the server uh, it's gonna be like the commands are gonna be available for the user which i'm gonna show it right now uh, let me check that it's okay perfect un segundo <clears throat> Sorry. Man. <laughs> no. So now I'm on the server. Uh, if I type meta, prints out that it has uh, meta loaded. Now I can have the commands that I I added. This is the for pause, this is to request the on pause. Um then like the admin commands so you need more privileges are like um, to launch the different configurations and if you don't have, if you're not an admin you will not have enough uh, access to this so the way to set that up is basically changing um, inside the cs2 screen add-ons uh, you will have this configs folder and inside you will have the admins cfg so you are gonna load that and i'm lost with this one yeah and it's pretty easy and the default one is not gonna be of course with your data but basically uh, this is a, a name a label whatever you, you want to call it so once it loads this data is gonna tell you like okay this uh, this name is loaded as an admin so use this as a to have like the nickname of the of the 
people so you have like on the console pointed out that is who is an admin and you will know easier easier so this is the steam id 64 and these are the flags uh, here you can have like a for example abcd but uh, yeah the set is the all like the fully full permissions flags so this is uh, in my case like in this case it's easier and it's uh, pretty easy so yeah you can have like more deep configurations with the like, different commands like the key kesley blah, blah blah but yeah i will try to add that on the repository a good explanation but yeah there is don't don't yeah just do it like that it's quite easy and how do you get that basically you can use the steam finder um page you type your steam id which i type mine um this is this one uh, uh, so you need to copy the steam id 64 in decimal which is this one copy that and paste it uh, under the quotes just save that so i'm going to do that now uh, i'm going to copy this file which is this one i'm going to copy it i'm going to go to the ftp i'm going to paste that here I think I did it wrong, but this one. Yep. No, it's not this one, it's this one. Uh, yeah. This one. This has like more, more data. <laughs> so yeah, replace that. And now uh, it's not it doesn't load directly. So for example I cannot force some pause. So what you need to do is if you want uh, it's uh, go to the console live like the console of the server and type um, this command which is actually reload admins which is gonna reload that file the admins configuration so now it's gonna print out a loaded admin a name loaded admin, loaded admin the name the steam ids and the flags so you know right, right now that these three users are admins and if I'm on the server, I can now launch the privileged commands. For example, this practice mode, uh, where basically I'm launching, I'm launching the configuration config, where you can just uh, yeah, show impacts and SP sheets, uh, buy everywhere, blah blah blah, like pretty basic. And then, in case you have like the the prac or uh, the scream. You can just load the this config, which loads the competitive match configuration, and with the I have like maybe the freeze time. I think I I put it different. Um, now I can force to impose as an admin and as an usual match. It's gonna go on basically. Um, so yep, I think that's basically it. Basically it. I don't know if I told this on the, if I said that on the. I said this on the on the beginning, but I'm like shout out to these guys uh, to the uh, zombie escape guys. Like the they made this awesome plugin, which I based. Um, so like yeah, all, like the the big the heavy lift, the heavy lifting has been made. Uh, like they have made they have done that. So I just made small tweaks. Uh, for myself so yeah this is a small plugin uh, i will try to add more stuff this is my small roadmap but yeah i hope you got um, the steps uh, i think it's quite clear and straightforward um if you have any issue with the plugin like crashes or something uh, try to put it here on issues a uh, new issue and so on it's quite easy but yeah I hope you you can now prac correctly without paying uh, thousands of dollars on the prac.com servers and so on. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, take care. Bye bye.